friends, welcome back to the channel. So before I begin, um, please note that I am not a licensed therapist or medical specialist, nor do I claim to be. If you experience any mental concerns, please consult your physician immediately. So this past week, I had a virtual consultation with my licensed therapist. And every, every time that I do have a consultation, then of course, you know, I learn something new, a new session and things like that. So something that I had been personally struggling with, but didn't know what it was, or if I was just experiencing this by myself and nobody else did, things like that. So the thing that I learned about is going into a catatonic or catatonia state. So according to Wikipedia, catatonia is a condition in which a person unnaturally behaves. Originally linked to any schizophrenia, catatonic conditions happen from an array of neurological and mental conditions. My catatonia is due to PTSD and depression. So when it first started, I don't remember how far back that it really happened. I just had small times or small moments that would spark where I would just shut down physically, mentally. And it'd probably last for like maybe five minutes to 15 minutes until I kind of snapped right back into it. Um, since my car accident, um, November of 2018, it has been magnified because I will have more triggers now of things that happened during the accident and it just puts me more into that frozen state, which it's, it's really, really, really weird. So what I experienced for me personally is, um, I will have a moment of trigger. So for example, let's, let's use the car accident for one of them. Um, so for example, then if I hear two bangs, then it just physically heightens all my senses. And then all of a sudden I just drop and not, not physically drop, I should say, but like mentally, especially if I'm driving, obviously I have to mentally tell myself, okay, keep driving the car. I have to talk to myself as if I was teaching one of my students for driver's ed or, you know, things like that. So I will physically tell myself to look for a safe place where I can pull over, put the vehicle in park, take a few breaths, and all of a sudden it just all my energy, everything is just drained completely out of me. Um, and these moments will last for about, you know, anywhere between 30 minutes to an hour. And it is very, very, very challenging for me. Um, as I know that it is extremely challenging for my family too, especially for Dexter, because I mean, he's my rock and he just, you know, wants to help me. He wants to make me feel better. And when I'm frozen in this state, it's frustrating for us both, let alone if the girls see me like this too, because they want to help. And being able to speak with my therapist, realizing that, you know, it's, it's one of those where the body just goes into a fight or flight mode and I need to recharge. So it's very similar to an electronic device, just being turned off and then turned right back on again. And for Dexter, for, for when I go through something like this, it's really hard for me to talk about just because it's, it's something that's so new that I just learned about myself and trying to look things up online about it. It didn't really talk that much about it because it talked more about the schizophrenic side. Um, but there's a lot that 
goes into it whenever you deal with a traumatic situation in your life. So when I do experience one of those moments, then Dexter sits right by my side. He's there for me. You know, if, if it is happening during one of those times where um, I find a place in the house or wherever that we are where it's a little bit dark and I can just sit down and it feels like my whole body is just filled with concrete and it physically and mentally hurts to do or move anything. And at that point in time, the only thing that I really can move are my eyes. And if I have any reaction at all to anything, um, the, it'll just be tears. Tears are just coming down the face. So, um, Dexter will, like I was saying, Dexter will talk to me and I, in my head, am responding back to him and I know what is going on around me and I can't do anything about it. I mean, it's, it is such a struggle. It really, really is. Um, you know, I, I try to talk, you know, to tell him I'm okay and just, you know, it'll be all right. I'm just kind of shutting down and, you know, things like that. Um, but in that moment, I can't, I, I just, I physically cannot as frustrating as it is. So, um, thankfully once I kind of come back more too, then my body just relaxes a little bit more. And I mean, at that point, I'm just, I'm so exhausted, but I can function again. And when that time comes, then I always talk with Dexter. And if the girls know that I was going through something too, then I'm, I'm very open with them too, you know, because I don't want anyone to think that, you know, it was because, you know, for example, like with Dexter and the girls, I don't want them to think that something that they did when they didn't, they didn't do anything. They are phenomenal. Seriously, they really are. Um, so I, I can easily tell them after with what I was, with what was happening. It's just in those moments, they feel so helpless and it just breaks my heart because I want to, you know, convey to them that I'll be all right. It's just one of those that I had a trigger and everything just kind of shuts down and it is very, very overwhelming. So, um, you know, and thankfully now I have my therapist that I can talk to as well. So there, there is light at the end of the tunnel with all of this. And I am oddly at ease knowing that I'm not alone dealing with this, but I was sad to not see too many posts or videos or communities or, you know, things like that, that were really open about it. Just because I think it's one of those that, um, a lot of people just don't want to talk about. I honestly, was debating on whether even to make this video and was thinking about doing another playlist and things like that. But it's something that I feel that if I get it off my chest and kind of reach out to everybody, then if you are going through something like this or you know of somebody else who's going through this, then, you know, there's a little bit more support there and just the knowledge that you are not alone. So hang in there, stay positive. And as always, I appreciate your time, your love, support. My whole family appreciates um, everything that you all do, all the positive comments and the feedback and just, you know, we, we really appreciate you. So I hope that you all are staying safe and that you all are healthy. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care, friends.